Harris Hill, Maine. Today, a small and quiet town with leafy streets and well-kept houses. Yet despite its quiet and rural location, it was the home to some giants of the faith. Three families of note that lived here were the Stevens family, the Stowell family, and the Andrews family. J.N. Andrews was the son of Edward Andrews and the nephew of Charles Andrews, a state representative of Maine. Cyprian Stevens had two daughters, one of whom married Uriah Smith and the other married J.N. Andrews. Today, the home of Edward Andrews stands behind me at the Paris Hill Country Club and Cyprian Stevens Farm is located just down the road. But we start the story with another family, when in the spring of 1845, a track by T.M. Preble on the Sabbath made its way to the home of Louis B. Stowell. He set the track aside, but his 15-year-old daughter, Marion, picked it up and decided to read it. She was convinced on the truth of the Sabbath and decided to keep it. She then shared the track with her brother Oswald, and he also decided to keep the Sabbath. They then called J.N. Andrews, who was only 15 years old, but was respected as having an intelligent mind. He read the track and also decided to keep the Sabbath. It was later on that the parents of the Stevens, Andrews and Stowell families decided to keep the Sabbath, which I believe is a key point. It was the teenagers who made the decision to keep the Sabbath based on God's word, regardless of what others thought. This really is the essence of Protestantism and a continuation of one of the key tenets of the Reformation, to follow conviction rather than tradition, to let scriptures be our guide, no matter what others may think. Lewis B. Stowell sent a letter and $10 to the Seventh-day Baptist minister in Hopkinton, Rhode Island, to obtain some more materials. Soon the tracks arrived and a small company of Sabbath-keeping Adventists was established in Paris Hill, Maine. These families would go on to be pillars in the new and fledgling movement that was being birthed. Paris Hill, Maine is also the birthplace of the Review and Herald, today published as the Adventist Review. From August to November of 1850, a magazine was published here called the Advent Review. And then from November 1850 to June 1851, the Review and Herald was published here in a building near this site. It would then move on to Saratoga Springs, New York, Rochester, New York, before moving to Battle Creek, Michigan. In 1856, the Stevens and Andrews families would move to the state of Iowa, and the town of Paris Hill, Maine, would become just a memory of the early beginnings and challenges of Sabbatarian Adventism. Though the action had moved on from this town, their example of faithfulness under conviction lives on today and stands as an example of how we ought to live our lives. It doesn't matter who else makes a decision or what authority is trying to instruct and guide us. We need to be true to the convictions of our conscience first and foremost. It was Peter who said that we ought to obey God rather than man.